Hi, my name is Dr. Samir Gupta and I'm an interventional cardiologist. Now, you know, you, you, you all heard about cholesterol and how cholesterol can be harmful to you. It has, it increases the risk of heart disease, it increases the risk of stroke, um, it has multitudes of uh, side effects and uh, problems that it can cause. Now, the best way to reduce your cholesterol is to do diet and exercise. And what I mean by diet and exercise is mean you know exercising regularly, uh, making you know you, the heart. The American Heart Association recommends that you should do about 30 minutes of uh, vigorous exercise uh, three times a week, or you do 30 minutes of moderate level exercise like walking in a park or doing some other uh, something that gets your heart rate up and something that makes you feel that you've done some exercise about uh, for 30 minutes five days a week so that is uh, exercise and the second thing that can help lower your cholesterol is diet making smart choices when you eat reducing the intake of saturated fat uh, having a diet which is rich in fruits green leafy vegetables beans etc it really helps uh, getting your cholesterol lower but diet and exercise may not be uh, sufficient for some people or it may be impractical for some people i hope it's not impractical i hope you're all able to make uh, uh, adequate changes in the diet and lifestyle but uh, some people may not be able to get the diet the cholesterol low enough uh, where it reduces the risk or where it negates the risk of having heart disease so some of these, so some of you may require other medicines to reduce your cholesterol. Now there are a multitude of medicines that we have to reduce cholesterol, and the most common one is statins. You know, I'm sure you've all heard of uh, medicines called statins, uh, called rosuvastatin, um, it's called atorvastatin, it's called simvastatin. Multitude of different um, drugs come under that umbrella, and you know, uh, statins are actually very uh, good drugs. And they've been around for a long time and they help lower your cholesterol. Uh, we found that they reduce your risk of having heart disease, they reduce your risk of having stroke. Uh, sometimes I'm, I'm an endovascular interventionist also, so I, that means I deal with peripheral vascular disease, blockages in the arteries of your leg. And they even help reduce the risk of having um, blockages in other, uh, in other arteries like your legs. So uh, statins are an important drug and if your doctor uh, may recommend statin drugs, he may want to check your liver enzymes every now and then. And I know there are a whole host of side effects that you've all read about on TV and read in the news. But at the end of the day, uh, statins are still very good drugs. They reduce your risk of having heart attacks. They reduce your risk of having strokes and uh, a lot of other medical problems. But diet and lifestyle is absolutely essential. And along with that, uh, statins or other drugs for those for that matter may be required.